So how do we create a pipeline? We can perform various steps required to ingest data, train a model, register the model individually by using the Microsoft ML SDK to run script based experiments. However, in an enterprise environment, it is common to encapsulate the sequence of discrete steps required to build a machine learning solution into a pipeline that can run on one or more compute targets either on demand by user or from an automated build process or on a schedule. So the pipeline we can see I have already run one and I will show it to you here. Here we see a pipeline the first thing that you would notice that in a pipeline as in an actual pipeline it is composed of various steps or components. So here's the two steps one is a prepared data and another is the train and register data and as in a pipeline you see the information is flowing from one component to the other. So you see a very good graphical description of the pipeline here. What we will do here in this session is that we will build a pipeline from scratch. So let's go ahead and build a pipeline. I have already created a workspace and the workspace is here. So I can go here to portal dot seo dot com and I can see the workspace. So while it is coming up let me explain to you what is happening. So I am using the config file to connect to the workspace. Next what I am doing is that I am preparing the data. So what is the data? We push the two diabetes dot csv and the diabetes2.csv into the data store. So and we create a tabular data set. So just wanted to show you and this is a config.json which is out here and I have downloaded the config.json and I have used to connect it. Now when we go back to the data store, here is a data store that we have connected here. So this is the get date default data store and this is the data store that we are connecting out here. So this is a default data store and we have uploaded it into the Azure blob storage. So let's go ahead and see it. So here's the container and here's the blob store and here we have the diabetes data. We have it is all down here. So it is all here and we create a tabular data set from the path on the data store. So it is, it is creating the tabular data set from here and we are getting the uh, the tabular data set. Now what we do is that we create a pipeline. So the pipeline consists of one or more steps which can be Python scripts or specialized steps like a data transfer step that copies data from one location to another. Each step can run with its own compute context. In this exercise what we will see we will build a simple pipeline with two Python script steps. One to pre-process some training data and another to use a pre-processed data to train and register the model. So here if I go to my to my experiments if you see down here you can see the graph which is which is of two steps. 
prepare data and train and register the data. So we are creating a file to keep this script and now what we do is that we also have two arguments here. One is the script Con also contains an argument called the prep data which references a folder where the resulting data should be saved. Okay, So here it is a standard uh, way that it is there and what we do is that we um, we first take the arguments there is the input data there is a prep data and if you see the prep data, the save folder is args.prep data. Here is where the prepared data will be stored. The next statement is run.get context, getting the experiment run context. Next is the data sets that are there, that is the data, the raw data that is there, that we are putting it into a pandas data frame. So the input data sets are raw data. That is the, the where it is being converted into the diabetes data set. Then we log it, we remove the nulls, the we normalize using the min-max scalar, we log the process to rows and we save the data into the save folder. Note that the save folder is in the prep data. So what is the prep data which references a folder where the resulting data would be saved. Next what we do is that we create the training script. If you see this training script it is, it is getting the argument from the training data. It is, it is reading the files, it is separating the features and the labels. So if I break it down, so this is the features, that is the X out here and Y is the di diabetes, diabetic dot values. We split the data into training set and test set. We train a decision tree model. We calculate the accuracy. So to calculate the accuracy, we predict and then we calculate the metric, which is the accuracy. We also calculate the AUC, which is the area under the curve and log it. We plot the ROC and we also log it. We save the trained model in the output folder and we also register the model. So these are the steps that we are using in this respect. Next what we do is that we create a cluster for the compute environments. Here we are using a standard DS11 V2 machine for the compute target. Next we create the Python environment for with the necessary dependencies. What are we doing? We are putting the Python, scikit-learn, ipykernel, matplotlib, pandas, azure ml defaults and pyarrow. Next what we do is that once we have the environment YML file, we create the environment using it and then what we do is that we register the environment. We create a run config file, run config object, the run configuration object and in the run configuration object, we associate the compute target which is the pipeline cluster which we have shown down here the compute target which we have done and then we also associate the environment so so what would happen is that if i go back here into the workspace then you see the compute the compute cluster is already there i have already run it you can see the compute cluster you can see the environments also and you can see the environments that we have done. So this is the environments that we have created. 
so after that we create the pipeline so what is the pipeline as we have set we get the diabetes status set and we create something called an output file data set config so what is the output file data set config object it is a special kind of data reference that is used for interim storage locations that can be passed between the pipeline steps so you will create one and use at as the output for the first step which is also the input for the second step so this is the first step which is there which is run the data prep script and run the training script if you go a little bit deeper what is it it has got a name a source directory the script name the script we have already created the arguments which is the input data which is coming in and the prep data which is the output of it the compute target is the pipeline cluster the run config is the pipeline run config and allow reuse equal to true then what it does is that the prep data now becomes a input to the training data and we are using the train diabetes.py we are using the same pipeline cluster we are using the pipeline run config we have already run it so what would happen is that we construct the pipeline here so how are we constructing the pipeline please note there are two steps a prep step and the train step i keep on repeating this so if i go down here to the runs there is a prep step and this is the uh, train set you see the prep data which is coming in and it is going into the train and register model now the pipeline is built using the workspace which is already there and the steps which are the pipeline steps now we create an experiment using the workspace and we submit in the experiment with the pipeline which has been created here and then this takes a lot of time to run but i have already run it so it has already run so the next thing is we get the metrics so you can get the metrics of the pipeline run from pipeline run dot get children and you get the run dot get metrics and you see that this is the result that you are getting so you can see it here these are the steps and you have all the things the pipeline run parameters are also here so if you go to the experiment you can see the metrics so there are no metrics in the run so let's go back here you can see the model tags the model which is used so model um, is used you can see the model out here it has got the properties and it has got the auc you can publish the pipeline so the pipeline is published and it has some endpoints so when the when it is published it will have some endpoints the pipeline endpoints are here so you can see that these are the pipeline endpoints the rest endpoints that is there now you can use the pipeline endpoints for your experiment now what we do is that you can call the pipeline endpoint you log into it and then you use the experiment name which is there you get the rest endpoint you get the run id and from there you can do the published pipeline run the run id and you can wait for completion so this gives you the summary of the pipeline so this is how you can run the pipeline 
and you can also schedule the pipeline so the schedule recurrence is also there so what are the elements in the schedule recurrence you have a frequency interval weekdays time of day and you can create a weekly schedule based on this recurrence you can retrieve the schedules that are defined in the workspace like this by schedule dot list you can get the results on the last run from the pipeline by getting the get runs and zero you get the last run details so this completes the whole pipeline in azure ml hope you liked it bye thank you